Okay, we're gonna try this one more again because my computer keeps or I don't even think it's computer, it's this YouTube it's the new YouTube, honey. She keeps talking about there's an error in the connection when clearly I have all of the bars and my wireless and my modem is sitting right there, honey, and ain't nothing happened to it. So I don't know understand, girl, but get your shit two together, okay? Thanks. Anyway, um I want to come in here and talk about some things. Um basically let's just get into the story because I don't even feel like giving you the intro. Basically, I was hanging out with two of my Jews, my Judies, my, my good Judies. They're so sweet. Shout out to y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. We had fun the other day. Yes. And basically, um, basically, we were talking about a person in question, which we all knew. But they're, they're more, they're, this their friend, but I knew him too. Like, I'm cool with him, but it's their friend. But anyway, we were all at a party at my house last summer. And admittedly, me and person in question, we made out twice. It was it was cool. You know, it was a, it was a really good make-out session, girl. So person in question, because if you ever run across this, you'll probably figure out that I'm talking about you. And if you have any questions, you know how to get in contact with me. But yes, I'm talking about you, girl. Um, Good kisser. Really good kisser. Like, I have to say, girl, you must have, you must have had a lot of experience. Actually... I know, excuse me, you've had a lot of experience because, honey, one of my Jews just could, couldn't could keep quiet about how, mu how much of an experienced person you are. But we're not going to get into that because I don't judge. Because, <laughs> I, honey, because, listen, been there, done that, okay? So I'm not going to sit up here and act like I am that girl. Like, oh, girl. No. I, I'm not, I've been there. I've been a hoe, too. It's okay. Maybe Rob not as big as one as you, because some of the things that he was saying that y'all was doing, girl, I didn't, I didn't really do that. But, you know, we've all had whole moments, so I'm not going to judge you. But anyway, back to the story. So basically, you know, at this party, we were all chilling on the couch, and he, he and the two Judys and the, their other friend, they were all about to get up and go to the store and get some more, you know, stuff for the party, some more drinks and shit for the party. So, you know, right before they were getting going, we were just kind of like, you know, chilling on the couch talking. And me and me in person in question, we were having our own little moment right here. And so, you know, next thing you know, honey, when it was all said and done, honey, we were making out for like a good five to ten minutes. Like, heavy. Like, ah, all up in it, honey. I mean, bitch, that, when I tell you, that motherfucker's a good kisser. And I am too, but he really kept up with me. And I just, I'm impressed. Like, I love that. Because girls just, they don't know what to do when I lay it on them, honey. They, but... But anyway, so once so after the kiss, they left. And so as they were gone, as my good Judy was revealing to me the other day when we were hanging out, person in question basically said something to the tune of, Why y'all let me do that? I only did that because I felt sorry for him. He just he seems like a nice guy, but why did y'all let me do that? Uh, uh, and all that. And I I don't understand, because, like, I don't know, lately, girls have been trying to, like, read me as, like, this lonely, desperate girl, and I'm not her at all. Like, I've never been her. I know I could come, I mean, I know I'm a nice, you know, I'm a nice guy. Like, I, I'm not one of those gays that always be walking in the club with attitude and talking, talking to people any kind of way and all that type of shit. I'm not that kind of gay. Like, I'm a sweet guy for the most part. I'm a nice, nice man. <laughs> as Al Pacino said in Angels of America, a nice, nice man. I am. I mean, for the most part, I'm a nice guy. And I guess I guess I could see why girls might, simple girls might think that, you know, I get it. I'm chunky. I'm dark-skinned. I ain't got no man, and I'm almost 30. So I guess in their mind, you know, old girl, he is just lost, lost hope. He is desperate. He just needs, he needs something, honey. Reach out and touch, send him a prayer. When really, girl, is not the case like it's not the case <laughs> at all <laughs> like at 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 all i'm just gonna take this hat off girl she's just doing too much and she was looking kind of floppy i'm just i'm trying to hide the fact that i need a her kirk mm -hmm. but yeah girl like she um basically was just basically saying like she was doing me a favor and I just have one question for you, girl, you know, because, like, a, my honey, I have nothing but love for you. If you ever catch this, girl, and if you ever come across this, I have nothing but love for you. Ain't no bad blood over here. 
But girl, since when were you doing me any favors, bitch? When? When were you? Cause, cause, girl, let's 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 talk about it. Let's talk about it, girl. Since we all talk about it, let's talk about it. Um, from the time that you showed up at my house, you were all up in my face. I wasn't in your face, girl. I was just, you know, I was giving everybody that standard, you know, Susie homemaker. Hey, girl, welcome to my house. Yes, come in. You know, I was giving everybody that. Like, I was just like, you know, okay, yes, let's have this kiki. You know, I was, I was cracking jokes. That's all I was doing. You were all up in here, honey. What was all that? Was that, was that you doing me a favor? Because let me tell you, girl, you didn't have to do all that. If you were trying to do me any favors, you, you could have kept it. Because I don't need any favors from anybody. I'm good over here. We... We good over here. We are eating over here. We are nourished over here. You are not doing me any motherfucking favors, okay? Okay? Because, girl, let, I mean, because, like, you tried it, girl. You kind of did. Because you were all up in my face, girl. And, and there were witnesses, girl. Like, even when we, when we were in the kitchen, honey, about to pour the shot, the first shot, this was you, girl. Oh, wait, girl, you know, because, yes, Corey, Corey is my new best friend, but what you want, boo? You want a shot of this? You want a shot of that? Okay, y'all, wait, girl. You know, I got to give my boo a shot. Your boo, your friend, your boo, all this, homie love friend. You were saying all that, girl. I didn't say none of that. So, I don't know if you were on one when you came in, like, you was already, you know, the party had started early on, or, you know, you were just putting on for the cameras, which weren't there because there were no cameras. I, I don't understand, like, why you, like, because, honey, all, because from what I was looking like, honey, you were all up and you were flirting with me heavy from what it looked like from my perspective. I could have been wrong. Honey. You, it could have been all an act. And for that, I say, girl, you need an Oscar because that was a good act. But from what I'm just going to say, that that was all you. That was all natural. So, girl, at one point, were you doing me a favor before or after you started flirting with me, honey? Because really, the kiss was the lead up from all that flirting you were doing in the in-between time, honey. Trust and believe. When we were out on the little fire escape, girl, you were all up in, I mean, it was a closed-in space, so I can't say you were just all up in my face because you were kind of all up in everybody's face. But, girl, you took a special interest in me, along with everybody else. But me, you made sure to keep me up in the mix. So, girl, I don't understand, once again, why you felt like you were doing me favors. And honey, and let's get into the kiss, honey. Because when I kissed you, bitch, when you got a taste of all this pretty brown round tearing you down, honey, and huh, huh, okay, when you, got a, when you got a kiss, when you got a little taste, honey, I felt your knees buckle. I felt you, I felt you percolate, bitch. Don't play me. Like, that's, I don't understand you girls. Because I can't stand these girls that be secretly wanting to taste my goodies but, because I'm guessing that's what it was, honey, you didn't want girls to judge you. Because we were sitting in the middle of the living room while everybody, but everybody was like doing it. Everybody was having their own private key keys amongst each other. Like, we were just all having a little kickback, and I was just talking to person in question. And, you know, that's when we just ended up in this lip lock. And, you know, nobody, only person that really, really saw it was their other friend. Shout out to you too, boo. Hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. If you ever catch this girl, Mwah. what's up? Um, and honey, he clocked T on her. <laughs> Apparently, when they dropped him off, he clocked T and was like, "No, nah, girl, seriously." Like she was all, it was honey. That was a mutual exchange. But yeah, girl, how you gonna sit up and try to play it, play it down, bitch? Play it down on me? What? Cause you felt like because of the way I look and all that, and I'm older and all that, that you know, girls was going to look at you like you was, something was wrong with you. And then, girl, if that's the case, then, girl, then you have issues within yourself, and that ain't got nothing to do with me, and nor am I a therapist, or I'm not your doctor. Honey, figure it, that's between you, Jesus, and your therapist, girl, it ain't me. But, but, honey, don't play it. Don't play me. I don't like, like, I just, I don't like when girls try to play me. Like, don't play me like that. You play me, bitch. Like, and I, I, I kind of took that a little personally. And then the second time, girl, because the, the first time we were sitting down, but honey, the second time when I laid it on you in the kitchen, oh, girl, uh, all that happened. Honey, you did this. You, honey, I had you weak. Don't do it. And if you had to play your cards right, because I know you got to, you know, you and your boyfriend are, shout out to your boyfriend. Hey, what's up, girl? I, you know, I, I'm not plotting on you or nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, girl, 
if y'all hadn't got together, girl, and you still was curious about it, girl, you would have got the best fuck of your life. But, you know, oh well, or, or a couple of fucks, because I'm one of those girls, I keep going. <laughs> like, oh well, that was the warm up. We about to do it again. Come on, get up. Like, that's how I am. So, girl, you know, you missed out on that. So, girl, but trust, you weren't doing me no favors, honey. And I don't understand these girls who be feeling like, who be feeling like that, that, that I'm just this desperate queen who who's hopeless. Why? You know, what? like I said, why? Because cause of the way I look? Because I'm not skinny, I ain't got no abs and all that? Okay, that's fine. And, tr and truth be told, a lot of these pretty girls out here that y'all be drooling over ain't got no money, ain't got no place to stay, ain't got shit. But they look good, but they ain't about shit. So, I don't know. I guess that's why I always use that, that term in my songs, chasing after them things. They shading you while they take your coins, honey. Because a lot of you girls do. Y'all be running after these little hot young things. Thinking like, oh, this is this is the, this is where it's at, and girl, all they're doing is is using you for the next come up. They're using you for the next stunt. You're just the next ploy in the stunt they about to pull, girl. I don't get you, girls. You're doing me a favor. I'm the who? You tried it. You just tried it. I mean, I'm I, I'm not mad. Like I'm clearly, I'm not bothered. But that did well, actually. I, that pissed me off. I said it pissed me off. It pissed me off. So I can't lie. I am a little pissed about it. Just for the fact that, you know, you felt like you was doing me a favor. I just, I don't want to, I'm not that girl. Like, I don't understand why girls keep thinking that. Hmm. Should I change? What do y'all think? Like, change as far as, like, how should I act to make myself not look so desperate? Should I just run behind girls? I just, I'm just never been that rip and run girl. I don't run behind bitches. Because I feel like that would make me look thirsty and desperate and you know, I don't want to be that. I'd rather just, you know, chill with people I know who are, who are a little on my level. You know, we ain't got to be at the club every other day, every other night. We ain't got to, you know, be at the next move. You know, we, we kind of pick and choose. We have real lives. We have responsibilities. We got shit going on. We got goals to achieve. Can't do that if you always at the club. I mean, I'm not saying you can't go out and have fun. Clearly, I do it a lot. But, you know, at some point... And if it's because of the way I look, y'all girls can kiss all of my thick black ass, girl. Because I be seeing how y'all girls be looking at me when you think nobody's looking. Honey, you see all this double scoop of chocolate and y'all girls be about to pop, girl. You did me a favor. Anyway, well, I hope you and your relationship work out. Hopefully you ain't doing him no favors. Um, and I wish y'all the best. And I, you know, I'm gonna see y'all again. You know, it's all love. So I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna give y'all no no bullshit. But y'all tried it, and you know, if if and for all you other queens who think like that, girl, listen. Words to the wise, honey. If beauty fades, <laughs> okay. For if if you're looking for the beautiful ones, the prince said it better. The beautiful ones always smash the picture, girl. So, um, beauty fades. You need to worry about other things other than the fact that if he and for the most part, girl. You know if I don't know. I just feel like things like weight can be fixed. You know, for the most part. You know, I know some girls may not want. You know, some girls have a fat girl limit. Like they could do somebody chunky they just can't do somebody like press a clump big okay whatever everybody got their preferences some girls don't like them too black whatever but you i don't know i don't even try i ain't trying to justify these girls and they dumb shit but i girl don't play me like that ever again honey you ain't did me no favors and they're like, well let me do you a favor honey you ain't gonna ever get another taste of these lips ever again or anything else so, but we could be cool, though. I mean, we still cool. Like, in my opinion, we cool. We just, you ain't gonna ever eat honey. Like, girl, you act like I would stalk you after that, girl. Like, you did me a favor. Like, girl, please. Yo, you, ooh. Anyway, let me go. Let me go finish my beer. I'll talk to y'all later.